Hi, my name's Robin Good. I'm a film director and uh, yeah, born and bred in Cape Town. I first got into film, I kind of got into film through the back door. I was a, you know, um, I've been a creative my whole life, drawing and uh, painting and stuff, mostly through art and then got thrown into advertising and uh, at a young age and then moved to Italy and got involved in the art world. Started doing a lot of art like sculptures, photographic art, but mostly photography. And then I got into video art and I started making some weird abstract stuff. And that basically, I fell in love with the form. It was like, I want to be a director and uh, kind of moved back home. And, you know, inevitably you get into directing through commercials in South Africa. It's just the kind of the gateway. Yeah, I just worked as a dire commercial director for like, 13 years, shot like ugh, a ton of commercials, like way too many. And uh, and then learned my trade there, you know, the skills and built up my toolbox, if you will. And then shot my first feature um, uh, 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 last year. And uh, yeah, I've been working, writing on screenplays, you know, for the last 10 years, I'd say. Um, and yeah, so I kind of call myself a writer director, uh, but I write specifically to direct. What I'd recommend to young filmmakers, you know, looking to get into directing and writing is um, I think everybody's going to have their way of getting into the industry. And I think it's it's going to unfold, you know, naturally for you. And some people can, you know, there's a lot to be said for going to college and getting a, an education. Uh, but there's also a way of just, you know, uh, learning and reading books and informing yourself. And, and there's a lot to be said for actually just going out there and shooting and and filming things and telling stories. I think that's where you get all the experience and, and the mentors come quickly and you, you form a nice, there's a great community of people there to help you with. It's a very tight family. Um, and so everybody, you know, helps each other out. And that's where you learn everything, you know, is having a, a, a mentors and, and people around you to kind of um, get your bullshit meter up to spec. Um, and so, yeah, I don't think a an education is necessarily that important, but you have to be very proactive if you don't go to college, you have to be very proactive with uh, learning and uh, being very curious and, and, and going out there and making something yourself, which is easier said than done. But if you're that type of person, then I think you can go for it. So a director's job is many things for many people, I think. Uh, for me, it's uh, a person who's kind of like at the center of the project, driving the project from ground zero to the end. You know, and as somebody's put it, to me once was like making movies like a giant flute and you just throw all the stuff in and you're literally the first guy throwing or first woman throwing something into this massive uh, funnel and and you're at the end of the process when that single drop of clear liquid comes out you're the one who's collecting it watching it come out so you're 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 through you're there from the beginning and the, you're there at the end but you're the person driving and and that for me is you know the role of the director but aside from that it's also just managing everybody and, and uh, kind of being the you know, the driving force and, and pulling the team together and making sure that the creative vision is like fulfilled because um, not everybody's out there fighting for that. Um, and so, and not everybody can see what it is that directors see, you know, your, your, your perspective on a film is never there on set or within the moment, but it's always like a bird's eye view, like you know, a couple of Ks above it, I always say. Your perspective is what is a director, I think, is, is being able to step out of the, the chaos of, of, of the film set and have that perspective and go, oh, that's actually the essence of what we're trying to achieve is this thing and not everything else. I think being a director is wearing many, many hats. You've got to be able to go with the flow and work with lots of different people. It's also about managing and, 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 and corralling a lot of people hurting cats and um, and yeah, just uh, doing it with a smile and being being a nice person as well at the end of the day. I like to call myself an actor's director because I, I love actors and I used to act a bit when I was younger, in my late teens and early 20s. So I love actors and they are the heart of a, of a movie. You know, you really have to uh, uh, really appreciate the craft of acting and understand it to the nuances and you really have to understand how to work with actors in order to achieve what you need to do. So it's it's about working with people's their flaws, but also their, you know, uh, uh, or what they've got going for them as well. And, and, and kind of understanding a lot about like who that person is as well, because like what made them become themselves and, and their acting ability is kind of coupled together into the performance that they give you because they, they come at it from a certain angle in, in their life story. 
Um, so, so yeah, and the acting and, and being able to work with and speak with actors and communicate what it is that you have in your head to them in a clear way and also giving them the freedom to interpret a character or a line or given scene or find that or just to kind of pinpoint the essence of that scene it's that is the art of directing uh, and yeah and then I think you know visually I think being a director you have to have a very good understanding of space and color composition camera movements camera in movements there's so many facets to the craft and people who are non-directors you know or other departments don't really understand it but as a director you're like at the center of all those things and camera and the aesthetic side is just one part of it because there's also sound and all those things to go together but the visual the aesthetic of film is the is kind of like that is the you know aside from the actors it is the medium you know so understanding how that works is like fundamental you know and uh, it goes to blocking but even just to composition and how you can diminish a character within a frame because of how they feel if they're feeling left out or alone or they're an outsider how can you make that person feel smaller in a frame and you can do that with lensing camera height all those things are the same when somebody's feeling empowered or needs to be you can do the same with camera height and lensing to make someone feel you know important and stuff and a, and a great actor will know as well like what lens they're on and how far the camera is from them as to you know what the the essence of the scene that they're trying to convey so they go hand in hand the aesthetic and and the actors but yeah i think aesthetic for me as a director is something that i've it's been an easy transition for me because i come from photography and a very like and also a bit of art and the aesthetic world i understand composition and colors and i know what a good backdrop and fall off is and and I know what sizing is and I know, you know, I know all these things. So it, it's, if you're not a visual person or come from an artistic space, like that's something you really need to work on. And I think few people actually spend the time crafting and honing those skills because they are like super important um, for, you know, to becoming a director. You know, they're all, every little thing is a little tool that you put in your toolbox. And, um, and, um, so you've got to like build up those tools because when you're on a movie, you use like the whole toolbox and you'll put some new tools in as well. So yeah, within a given scene, there's, there's a, and, and obviously a, a movie or story that you're trying to convey, there's the, there's what's seen on the page and which is your script. And there's also, you know, one can translate that into an, into a, into a moving picture as being, and you know, you can translate life literally but then there's things like subtext and the space between the lines and that for me is like the the most important part of telling stories it's like well, certain it's it's the elevating the 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 standard like uh, 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 you know you see a person walk into a cupboard and open a cupboard it that's just a normal action but is there a way to transcend that and, and elevate that action to tell something deeper and more meaningful um, than just the obvious thing. And and I suppose it's also the art is being subtle with those nuances in a film because we can all tell stories in an obvious way, but it's like, how do we elevate things and elevate like thoughts and uh, a great authors do it, um, writers do it and uh, and the best ones are, are very good at it and the mediocre ones don't even know it exists. But as a filmmaker, the sooner you start figuring out the difference, um, the sooner you become a better filmmaker. Yeah. I think it's all about like elevating your craft and like where I come from, and, and I think it's just living in Italy for a long time and living in Europe, the, the types of films that you're exposed to there are just different. They're not like, they don't stick to the rules. It's like French filmmaking, Italian filmmaking, but it's different. They don't, they don't stick to the structure and, and they're all about like finding the, there's this there's certain magic to to the world that um, is lying just beneath the surface and that's what they're after they're not after the surface they're after the stuff that lies just beyond the veil and i think um yeah that's kind of shaped my filmmaking uh, journey because of being exposed to that in not just in films but in like i suppose books and and art and 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 um and seeing that um, people transcending the, the the reality and to go dig deeper to find something 
more meaningful and more impactful and something that uh, conveys a truth to the world that we didn't really have an understanding of before in a simple and subtle way. That's, that's what I think we're here for, you know, that's what I'm here for.